Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm really excited to show you guys this 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E. This one is a GT without the Performance Edition. So this is just a regular GT. So let's go ahead and start off here in the front. So obviously the front end looks completely different than a normal Mach-E. Looks way more aggressive. Has these cool vents right there, which are functional because they go in right here and come out the side. It does have that nice gloss black lower front splitter and it has the top tier headlights, has the LEDs from the premium. So you get the cool daytime running lights right there. And then you have some cool, uh, let me actually show you real quick. Let's see if I can open it up here. You can see it has that cool, um, what do you call it, sequential. Then it has that nice aggressive grill in the front, which is specific to the GT. And it's an interesting color. It's like a, it's like a grayish, I don't know what you'd call that color, but it's really interesting. It's not gloss black like uh, the front splitter is. You have the cool pony logo right there. It does have a front camera because this one has an upgrade package, which I'll show you guys in a second. Front parking sensors on this one as well. This is Iconic Silver. You can see it has that really cool side profile that uh, definitely looks like a SUV Mustang. But, uh, let's go ahead and look at these wheels here. So you can tell that they're kind of uh, aerodynamic. Okay, let me get out of the way. You can tell that they're supposed to be kind of aerodynamic because they're kind of flat spoked but it's a pretty cool wheel design nonetheless and you also get a nice huge red caliper right there let's go ahead and check out this charge port since it is an electric car so you can see here we have a, a little display showing you guys what the different lights mean you got your little charging stuff right there and you can do your fast charging so that's pretty cool and then it does lock if you lock the door so that someone can't just take your charger out walk along the side here this one does have LED turn signals, of course, and then it has a black painted mirror cap. And let's see if it has puddle lights. I think it does have puddle lights. I think it shines like a, a, a electric type pony on the ground, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, definitely really cool. Let's look at the back here. The back looks like every other Mach-E, except for there's a few little changes. So you get the GT badge, of course, with your little backup camera right there. And then you also get a more aggressive rear splitter I should say rear diffuser right here because it has some slats in it. The normal one doesn't have that. So that's one little change right there. It's also gloss black, so that's nice. And then just so you guys know, um, only GTs and first editions have painted, uh, what do you call those, fender flares? Because a premium would have a gloss black fender flare and then a base would have a plastic uh, fender flare. So that's one way to tell, and then obviously the vents, the different wheel designs and everything like that. All the lights in the back are LED. Let's see if I can show you guys a quick little look here. That's really cool. So you can see the bottom portion is like for the turn signal, and it kind of fades away. Really cool design. Also LED license plate lights, of course. But let's go ahead and check under the frunk. Normally I'd open up the hood for the engine, but let's check the frunk, and then uh, we'll get inside. All right, guys, just open up the frunk here. You can see we have a cool electric pony up there, just like normal mach -E's. And then uh, it looks like you can access your battery and some other stuff in here. Um, it says to read the owner's manual to see what's under there. And then you do have a pretty decent amount of storage in here. Definitely put some stuff and then has a little drain hole if you were to fill it up with ice or something like that. And also has an LED light and then an emergency release if you can somehow fit in there. And hydraulic hood struts, which is nice. Let's go ahead and close this up. And, uh-oh. Uh there, there we go. So it does have the Ford, uh, Ford's known for their little uh, invisible entry pad thing. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then uh, here's the button, open it up, and then you can just hold there to lock. So let's go ahead and open it up. So the door is actually different for the GT. So you have these cool, uh, I should say this cool suede right here, and then this cool bronze accent mark right there. That's kind of interesting. Then it's nice and soft up here with the ActiveX material. It's also soft down here. Automatic up down for the driver and passenger and the back is automatic up down as well So I like that they included it on all four doors This one does have a Bang & Olufsen and it also has that little bronze uh, Accent right there it Says GT You have a nice GT sill plate. I'm not sure if this lights up or not. I'm off to see later I don't think it lights up, but it does look cool nonetheless You have a nice power driver seat. I believe it's an eight-way power driver seat and then these cool Mach-E GT specific seats that really hug you in nicely. Just the design itself just looks really cool in my opinion. 
we'll definitely have to test that out when we get inside. Get the nice suede material to, that continues onto the dashboard. There's your lighting controls. Uh, no sport pedals on this one though. I would have thought that they would have put a sport pedals on all GTs, but that's kind of interesting. But let's go ahead and hop inside here. All right, just started it up here. Oh, let's make sure we don't have any music going. All right, let's move it so that the sun is not shining in our eyes. So I didn't want the sun shining in the camera. That's why I faced it this way. Okay, let's pull it right here. Nice, easy to turn steering wheel. There we go. All right, so let's start off with this steering wheel right here. So Maki GT has this cool uh, cross stitching, this bronze cross stitching, which looks really nice. Nice steering wheel controls. You got the Mach-E uh, electric pony in the middle. I'd call it the electric pony just because it has lines to it and it just looks like it's uh, futuristic and electric. This is to control your adaptive cruise control, your lane centering, all that stuff. Then this is to control all your radio controls, which is over here. And if you guys are curious, I don't think you can do anything with this screen up here. That's just kind of how it's always gonna be. And then if you have like lane keeping stuff on, it'll show you guys uh, what it's like in the middle. But the screen stays pretty much the same, but if you switch some drive modes, it changes it up just a little bit. So I'll show you guys what that looks like in a minute. But looking down the center here, I'm not gonna go too in depth with this because I did do a Mach-E Premium. I'm trying to focus on the GT in this video, but uh, let's go ahead and go straight to drive modes because that's what we like. So you have Whisper, which is the soft one, uh, makes it so that it's nice and easy to drive. Engages like your normal mode, and then Unbridled is the fast mode. And then another thing I want to show you guys is the driver's assistance tech because there's so much of it. So it has auto hold, has adaptive cruise control, speed limit assist, lane keeping system, pre-collision assist, uh, blind spot information, cross traffic alert, reverse brake assist, driver alert. So it has you covered as far as uh, safety technology is concerned. Looking down the center here, there's so much room right here, which is really nice. You even have a wireless charging pad right here. You got two USBs, one of them is USB-C, two cup holders. It's nice and simple right here. You have your electronic parking brake, your active park assist, hazards, your gear shifter. And then right here, it says GT. So that's kind of nice. And then also the accent stitching again. And you have a little 12 volt in there. I don't think they have a light though, but you can close it up if you want to have a even more clean look. I really like the interior of this Mach-E. It has the perfect amount of buttons where it doesn't seem like everything is controlled by the screen, but you still have some sort of like normalcy, if that makes sense. Looking up top, we have our automatic dim rear view mirror that is frameless. We have our LED interior lighting. We have our sunroof hole, or excuse me, your sunglass holder. And then you have your garage door opener right here. Looking over here, LED lighting, of course. And this one does have the option for the panoramic glass moon roof or glass roof, I think they call it. It's not a sunroof because you can't open it up, but it looks nice. Go ahead and check out the glove box real quick. Okay, so it looks like there's no light in there, but you have a pretty good amount of room. And then let's look at this passenger seat one more time before we hop in the back. Yeah, that definitely looks really cool. All right, let's go ahead and hop in the back. All right, guys, the back door, same way. You just push the button here, then it pops it out, and then you just grab it. Yeah, the same really nice materials in the front. They didn't do any sort of cutting corners in the back, so I like that they included that. You have these nice seats that continue to the back seat with the accent stitching. You have a nice armrest right there. And you also have two USBs right there and some air vents. And I have this seat adjusted to where I would sit. So let's see if I can fit behind myself. I am six foot five, mind you, so I'm kind of overgrown. All right, let's see. Okay, uh, it is a little tight, but I can fit behind myself if you guys are curious. But it is a little tight, but I guess I can move that front seat up a little bit more because it is kind of far back. So I think it, it can work as long as you don't have too big of people. And the headroom is okay. My head is a little bit in the ceiling, but again, I have a really long torso and I'm tall. So for most people, it'll probably work fine. But let's go ahead and check out this uh, trunk space real quick. See, there it is, automatic. It also comes with that cool little cargo cover. Then you can see this one has some uh, all-weather floor mats. Got a little speaker back here. You have LED light with a Mustang logo on it. Really cool here. Let's go ahead and check underneath this... Uh, Okay, you have some storage under there, and then there's all your charging equipment, and uh, that hurt. But let's go ahead and hop inside, and let's take this one to the front and get it on the charger. All right, guys, let's set off here. It's so interesting driving an electric car because it's so completely different than a normal gas car. 
just everything feels different. No noise, no transmission shifting up and down. Instant torque just feels so much different. And the ride is pretty good. It is. It feels like it's a little bit firmer than a normal one, which would make sense. But the ride is pretty good. I mean, I'm used to a Mustang myself, um, a real Mustang, a two-door Mustang. And um, I'm, so I'm kind of used to a little bit of a stiffer ride. But yeah, it rides really nice. But I'll catch you guys when we get out onto the street here. This is gonna be a really short drive. Hey, there we go, in bridle mode. Oh, wow, it really turns on the regenerative braking. Huh, that's funny. It just slows down for you. It's not on one pedal drive though, so it won't come to a complete stop, but it will slow down as if like it was an engine doing engine braking. So that's kind of cool how they tried to mimic it to make it seem more uh, realistic, I guess. All right, let's take off here. Ooh, okay. Takes off really quick. You guys won't be able to tell on video because electric cars don't make any noise, but it took off really fast. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa, that took me by surprise. Wow, that really, uh, that really takes off fast. Wow, okay. <laughs> wow, I can't even hold the camera straight. <laughs> Jeez. And again, I can't do like a full nice test drive. I'll, I'll ask uh, I'll ask around to see if they'll let me do that, but I'm just bringing this to the front so I can get on the charger. Wow, <laughs> it just takes off. Okay, let's go ahead and put it back and engage here. There we go, now we're back in normal mode. And we're gonna get this car all charged up so that customers can look at it and everything. Stay tuned if I get to do any future stuff with this car. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the Mach-E GT. And I will see you guys in the next one. And if you guys are curious how the charging works, you just grab this and literally, boom. You just put it in like that. And then this will pop up and show you guys how much charge you have. So you can see we're kind of on the third quarter of the charge. So very simple.